All right, Hugh, I want to show the folks some of the kinds of instruments that you and other astronomers work with that allows you to gather the scientific evidence that proves the universe did have a beginning. How you see right back to the creation event. Folks, watch this. This is the Keck Observatory, the world's largest optical telescopes. Together, these two telescopes have eight times the collecting area of the Mount Palomar Telescope and more than 30 times that of the Hubble Space Telescope. The Keck Telescope is 36 independently driven mirrors. Uh, computers control the movement of these mirrors so that they work in sync as one gigantic 400-inch telescope. It's also very precisely figured down to a molecule thickness. With sensitive light and radio wave gathering instruments like this, we can look up billions of light years into space to the very limits of the cosmos itself. But as you look out into space, we're also looking back in time. This is where astronomy is unique among the sciences because it alone directly observes the past. As a matter of fact, astronomers are always observing the past. Light waves, radio waves, and all their kinds of electromagnetic waves may seem to reach us instantaneously, but they don't. They seem to because they travel so fast. Light speeds through space at 186,000 miles per second, fast enough to circle the globe seven and a half times in a second. When we look at the sun, 93 million miles away, we're seeing what it looked like when the light left it about eight minutes ago. Likewise, when we look at the moon, we're seeing it as it appeared about two seconds ago. When we look out to the stars, we're seeing them as they were thousands, millions, even billions of years ago. The farther away an object is, the longer ago its light began its trip through space. The distance light covers in a year, about six trillion miles, we call a light year. Light years offer a more convenient method for indicating vast distances. The most distant galaxies ever detected by astronomers are about 13 billion light years away. That means the light from those galaxies took 13 billion years to arrive on Earth. As we gaze at this galaxy, we're looking back in time at how it appeared 13 billion years ago. Hugh, that's just mind-blowing to people as they watch that. And I want to ask you the question, how many years ago did the universe actually begin? 13.73 billion years ago with an error bar of now only 0.12 billion. So how we do you know, know it to about 1% precision. How do you know that? Well, the two most accurate methods come from looking at the galaxies in the Sloan Digital Sky Survey and their distribution across the sky. Uh, but the most accurate method of all comes from looking at the uh, temperature ripples in the cosmic background radiation. They'll spread out in different ways according to the age of the universe. So the WMAP five-year release is the one that gives us the most accurate date. Do any astronomers now doubt this, the Big Bang? Uh, they do not doubt that there's a beginning to the universe and that the universe's age is approximately 14 billion years old. 